So you get to the paragliding site with your big heavy bag and maybe you've got a little bit of extra weight from all the lockdowns and the wind's light. How do you find that first thermal? You're worried about just dropping out, but the pros seem to be able to just find thermals and fly away. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you find that first thermal. There is a trick to it. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe and tap the notification bell. So when I go live, your phone will let you know. Okay, let's show you how to find the first thermal. So I'm launching on the north side of this ridge. The side you're seeing now is the sunny side. And the sun hasn't really got onto that slope on the far side. This is a pretty typical situation if you're trying to fly early in the day and you take off from the takeoff site and you're tracking up and down the ridge because that's where the wind is going to be deflected. So obviously you're flying this with a sort of a steady wind coming onto the ridge. But the ridge itself is only going to provide you with ridge lift. And it's going to be limited because there's no boost from the thermals. There's nothing coming all the way up the slope. Or whatever is coming up the slope is going to be very, very gentle because the stronger thermals are going to release as soon as they hit this intersection at the bottom of the ridge. As soon as they see that slight change in terrain angle and they encounter the slightly cooler air that's pooling on the ridge that hasn't got the sun on it. So you've got to think of the sun angles here. The angle that the sun hits the fields out here is more direct than the angle it's going to hit any part of the slope. So this whole slope isn't going to work very well. So what I'm doing here is I'm just tacking up and down. I'm ridge soaring basically. I'm just trying to survive. I don't want to land down on the bottom and have to walk up and risk the day. Well, it's not going to take me that long, but you get the idea. So I'm just scratching here, keeping my turns very flat and just trying to survive on the ridge. But you could go up and down here for ages and often you see pilots will fly up and down on the ridge and not get away and as it gets more thermic they end up landing because there isn't enough ridge lift on this ridge so as the day is improving they're actually getting worse so there is a trick to finding the first thermal when you're using a ridge like this and you're just maintaining as long as you can just maintain on the ridge you're waiting for the moment where you feel a thermal come through. You're waiting for some increase in your lift. So this sort of tracking across where it's just going level isn't what you're looking for, but that's what you're looking for. I've got a little spike here of lifts. So now I'm going out on that line. Can you see that? I'm going straight into wind. So I've established what the wind direction is. And now I'm going straight out on that line, you've got to be very accurate. You're trying to follow this lift curtain. Somewhere out there is the thermal that's releasing and the strongest part is going to be upwind of you. The weaker bits have been pushed downwind onto the ridge, directly downwind from that source. And out there is the thermal. So there you can see my climb as I'm going out. I've got out to the edge of where I think the edge is. You don't want to go too far. And then I've turned back and I'm coming back to try and stay with that core, that piece that I found. So 
I've just gone out as far as I dare. I don't want to go down. But there was a good patch of lift for quite a long way. So now I'm exploring a little bit off to the right. I've shifted my circle slightly to explore, to see maybe there's a little bit more lift off to the right. But I'm keeping the same sort of pattern. I'm following around in circles. I'm tracking that lift that I found directly downwind. And then I'm doing these little explore movements. So that was straightening a little bit to push into wind slightly. Now I'm exploring off to the side. Again, so I've looped out slightly that way. And I just slowly explore one side or the other. If I'm happy with the core I'm in, I'm just going to keep turning. But you can see I'm keeping my turns pretty tight. And I'm just letting the thermal drift me. It's going to drift me back, back onto the ridge. I don't want to go too far back because then I'm going to struggle to get back if I drop out of the thermal. So that's another explore. I'm doing a loop out to the side there. I'm looking at my climb rate. It's gone to zero. So that wasn't so good. So I'm now moving around to try and find a better place. I'm in more sink again. Still sinking. And now you can see here, maybe, I'm probably just under the thermal. Coming back into wind. And that's a problem when you drop out of a thermal that's at a real shallow angle. You tend to get sink and you then you never get back up again. But now what I'm doing is I'm following my Vario. It's got the little dots on my screen. And I'm going directly up through those track loops. So I know I'm following the path of the thermal that would be releasing off whichever point it released off. It's going to keep streaming lift bubbles off that point in exactly the same position. As the wind direction changes, that line will change. But you're trying to identify that lift line, and then you can work that line. So you can see what I've done there. I've pushed forward into wind again because I, I drifted out the back of the thermal. And now I've intersected stronger lift that's going up at a slightly steeper angle. It's still on that same line, but it's a stronger climb, so it was more into wind for me, and now it's going up at a steeper angle. So I'll hold on to this and keep turning as long as I can. It's early in the day, so at some point it's going to hit an inversion where the temperature, the air is getting warmer again, and I'm not going to be able to climb higher. And when I hit that point, I'll feel the thermal will break up. I'll look around for some more lift, and then I'll go and glide and go and find another source. But that was a fairly good climb. That's my first climb. I'm now much better established to go off down the ridge and go and find the next one. Cool. I hope that helps you identify how to get into that first climb. Remember to wait for that bump of lift in your ridge lift and then turn directly into wind, push out on that lift line and hook a thermal, go as far forward as you dare, drift back on it, and remember to shift and push upwind whenever you can, and you'll be set up for the day. Good luck with the second thermal. So that's the secret for finding the first thermal, particularly on a ridge where it's facing away from the sun, and you've got to go out to find the thermals. If you learned something from this video, give it a like and share it with your friends to help them with their flying. And leave a comment down below and stand a chance of winning a prize. Which reminds me, this month's prize winner. Let's go and find a random commenter from last month. Random video. And let's go find a random comment. Ripman riding. Dude. Congratulations, Ripman. You won the monthly prize for commenters on my channel. You get a free month membership on flywithgreg.com. Email me 
and I'll set you up. If you'd like a chance to win a prize, comment on any of my videos. You might be the lucky winner at the end of the month. There's a lot that's been going on on flywithgreg.com over the winter. I've been adding a lot more videos and we've now got a chat room, which is an amazing way for you to get your questions answered. I'm in the chat room daily. It's a private members only group of like-minded pilots. They're pilots of all levels and you can join the community, meet some friends and get your questions answered. And we have a weekly live stream. So I'm answering your questions directly in the live stream and I'm continuing to develop my course for pilots so a complete progression through all of the skills that you need it's my own take on techniques and fundamentals of flight and I'm also doing talks for cross-country pilots so there's guaranteed something there for you hey at the end of February 2021 my membership prices are going to be increasing to match the increase in value that you can get from the platform but for my existing members, you guys are early adopters. There's going to be a price freeze. And make sure you don't have a break in your membership and get in before the end of February to get amazing value going forward. There's already a big catalog on the website and most of the lessons have already been subtitled in German, French, Spanish, Italian, Russian. So if English isn't your first language, there's more support available to help you understand the concepts and the lessons and elevate your flying. So come and join me on Fire with Greg, take a free trial, see what's up and become a member before the end of February. Great, thanks for joining me on this session on thermaling. I hope this helps you get up and get away from the site and improves your flying this year. Thanks for spending some time with me, I appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. There was nothing left to say How to get up